Alright. Uh, info? Hey, Oscar. Was there any dirt on Dr. Sorkin in the mission briefing? If I'm gonna have to use the old Yoder charm, I'll need some intel. Big time protester in the 70s. Lots of animal rights crap. Handful of arrests for it. All of her Indian related history is classified. Said to expect her to be a pain in the ass. It said that? Between the lines. Alright. Well. What's the point of rebuilding? Hammond will kowtow to the major shareholders and cut every corner to recoup their investment as fast as possible. With no regard to the animal's welfare, I'm interested in hearing more about her symptoms. Well, like I mentioned before, Phoebe. Hey, you know who our prisoner is? Because no one else seems to. Well, I've never seen her on the island before. I don't recognize her as someone who works for InGen. But I don't know everyone, so it's possible. Hey, Doc. You got a pharmacy inside? It's gonna be a long flight back if we don't get this prisoner either elated or sedated. She seems harmless enough now, and she's adequately secured. Are you afraid she's gonna beat you up? Well, I do have a history of women wanting to get their hands on me. Why have I never seen this? I thought I knew every dino on this island. I wonder what the outside world's gonna think of all this. The government of Costa Rica will certainly have to think twice about InGen's presence here. Look, you're a... All right, well... How's your smoke? <sighs> Are you gonna do any work around here? What are we, union now? <laughs> How the hell does Dr. Sorkin think we're gonna load all this crap into the chopper? Dunno, but you better do it if you want to get on a good side. Ah, okay, well, thanks, you've been a great help. Info. So, Sorkin. Hippie type. Got arrested a bunch protesting for animal rights. Anything else? So, Sorkin. Oh. Hippie type. Got arrested a bunch protesting for animal rights. If you want to tag along with us, that's cool. Just give Oscar his space. He doesn't do very good with kids. Or adults. Or animals. Come to think of it, he doesn't do very good with anybody. Just stay out of his way. Skulls of the tombstones mean what they. What the one bitch said they mean, then yeah, I would assume so. I mean, what was Hammond thinking? The man continually ignored the warnings of his own scientists over marketing people, shareholders, everyone. A disaster walked. like this was inevitable. If you're in some kind of trouble with InGen. Dr. Sorkin. As I told you, I'm staying behind to watch after the animals. I'm sorry, but we really need to get you out of here. Why? Someone needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board of directors... I'm not supposed to say this, but I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. If you were there, you could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder. But perhaps you're right. And our orders also mention an assistant? David. Yes. I'm afraid David won't be coming back with us. He told him to stay away from the quarantine. Oh, Dr. Hands. Sorkin, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Now, before we go, I have some work in the lab that must be completed first. Dr. Harding, perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh? Which one? It's dietary. Right up your alley. Dr. Harding, we've done it! And what exactly have we done? Reverse the lysine contingency, of course. Wait, what? What's that? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. You cannot give that to the dinosaurs. They need to be contained. 
If any of them get off the island... Okay, listen. I've been working with the Parasaur's behavioral program for months now. If I go back to the mainland to fight for this place, they'll all be dead before I can get back. Along with all of my research. Parasaurs? Parasaurolophus. They're herbivores, generally safe. Let me give the solution to them, to see if it even works. How many are we talking about? Why don't you come out with me? See how much progress we've made with them. Can we, Dad? Fine. We'll go. Cool. Okay. Don't think that's gonna happen, right? Right, 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 right. I'm glad to finally have you out here, Dr. Harding. Despite the circumstances. We've been doing some very interesting work with our parasaurs. Behavioral communication experiments. You've interpreted their calls? Some of them. And I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not gonna treat their water with them still in there. How do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? Daniel told me. Well, believe it or not, the dinosaurs told me. See that one? She's the lookout. She'll stand guard while the others graze. If there were any predators in the vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. Jerry, you can activate the speakers from there. Jess and I will set the various parasaur sounds that play through them. Dad, it's okay. I mean, it's safe, right? The parasaurs will warn us of trouble before it gets close. Stay with Dr. Sorkin. So, what do we do? We can't just shoo the animals out, but we should be able to manipulate them into moving using their own sounds. Cool. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more, uh, amorous dinosaur. What about the big set of speakers in the middle of the pen? Ah, those emit the danger call. The parasaurs will instinctively move away from it. So basically, we can herd the dinosaurs out of this pen using the speakers and their sounds. How do I turn on the speakers? I'll have to tell your dad to do it when we're ready. Okay, so that's the danger call. Dr. Harding? Yeah? West side speakers, please. So I heard you were like a hippie protester or something in the 70s. Where'd you hear that? From Yoder. The 70s were a tumultuous time. I fought for what I believed in, and sometimes it gets you arrested. You were arrested? And you still got a job as a, you know, scientist? Paleogeneticist. And yes, Paleo youth is the time to be reckless and test your boundaries. It's how you learn what's important to you. Dr. Harding? Yeah? 
East mating. I need you to activate the east side speakers, please. East side. Okay. Oh, he's horny. So, what happened to your assistant? Let's not talk about that right now. Did you work with him long? It doesn't matter. Oh. Listen, he was a wonderful young man. And I am sad. I really am. But if I let that stop my work, then all these animals will die too, trapped behind the walls that we built. You understand? Back ones should do the warning call, so they will move that way. Yeah, Dr. Right. Harding. Yeah. Activate the danger speakers. Good job, Jess. Finally! Go forth and multiply. <laughs> You're pretty good at this. Maybe you'll be a behavioral scientist someday. Maybe I will. Hmm. I heard that. Aww. Ah, this is why she was elected to be the lookout. What's wrong with her foot? It's a broken toe. Feel free to have a look. I just have to do one more thing and then we can leave. Scene. If the dinosaurs have a fighting chance, they'll need the solution to survive. I'm still not sure. Jerry, this is my life's work. These are basically my children. I'm not gonna let these creatures die because some bureaucrat can't stand losing control. They deserve their own lives. Jess. Dr. Sorkin? Laura. Um, Laura, what's lysine? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. Don't tell my dad, but I got a D in chemistry. Then today should be very educational. The solution we were creating at the lab will reverse this scenario, allowing the animals to live out their natural lifespan. We just need to get it into the main water supply. Okay, that should be easy, right? This is a big responsibility, Jess. I can handle it, Dr. Sorkin. I mean, Laura. Okay, Jess, let's get started. I'm telling you, man, almost made me swear off Chinese food forever. Yeah, right. I've never seen you refuse an egg roll. Never. I said almost. Besides, my date was hot. You remember? The girl with the blonde hair, uh, red scarf, uh, what, what was her name? I don't keep track. Oh, you remember her. She was the one that was wearing the... Hold on. You hear that? Go, go, go! She's dead when I get in there! 
Come on, Oscar, put those giant friggin' arms to work! <laughs> Get in here! Come on, Oscar, put those giant friggin' arms to work! Get in here! <laughs> yes! Well, you're one stubborn son of a... Hey! <sighs> No problem! You got this! Damn this thing! Now! Not gonna happen! Uh. Not so good. Is the water ready? Yep. Lysine is now officially a part of this nutritionally balanced dino breakfast. Excellent. Now I just need to get this water into the main supply and we'll be done. That's it, Jess. We did it. <sighs> Jess, come up here. I want you to see this. This is how nature intended these animals to exist. Wow. With all the running away I've been doing, I haven't had time to really appreciate them. Oh, girl, take it easy. What's wrong with that one? Oh, no. Oh, no! Raptors. a few good moves, huh? You are lucky to be alive, Jerry. I've never seen anyone outrun a Velociraptor before. Where did they come from? What are they doing out here? Must have escaped from the quarantine pen somehow. Raptors are highly intelligent. They'll find a way up here if we give them enough time. Yes! It's Yoder!
Well, that was episode two. And I'm going now.